success for granted. Michael Owen scored twice and John Arna Risa got the other as Liverpool beat United for the fourth time in 11 months. The Liverpool fans sent out a get well message to Gerard Houllier at Anfield before kickoff and then his team turned in a performance that will have done wonders for his spirits as he watched at home. Manchester United, without Keane, Giggs and Blanc, were given an early warning when Owen fired wide when well placed. Then he did get one on target, but too close to Barthez, though the signs were that Liverpool were beginning to assert themselves. And just after the half-hour mark, the United defence was breached once more. Third time lucky for Owen, goal number 11 for the season, Liverpool won in front. And seven minutes later, it was two, and what a goal it was. John Arnorisa's pile driver, Barthez with no chance. Liverpool enjoying themselves, no one more so than the assistant manager. Much for Sir Alex Ferguson to say at half-time, whatever he told his team worked, they pulled one back within five minutes of the restart. David Beckham onto the loose ball to score with his left foot. But the good work was undone in just 90 seconds by yet another United defensive error. Barthez getting nowhere near the long throw, Owen snapped up the chance, the two-goal cushion restored. United have recovered greater deficits than that already this season and still sought to salvage something from the game. Beckham tried again with the left foot, this time Dudek kept it out. Liverpool comfortably mopped up all United could throw at them as the game petered out. The home side were the 3-1 winners. Four victories in a row against the faltering champion. For Leicester City in this one was... Sweet as candy indeed. Second half highlights and it was Sutherland who had the early chance. Oh, as they say in England, that was a sitter. Julio Arca, your teammates were in mid-celebration and you blew it. Should have put that one in. Then Andy Impey looked like he put a little too much on this cross. Marshall gets it in. Then Elliott takes a stroke. Adiakabai once. Adiakabai twice. Yes! And off comes the shirt. No, this is not burlesque, but indeed a great goal for Adiakabai. Everyone had a touch, it seemed, as he goes near post to beat Tommy Sorensen. Minute 75, Sunland brings in Niall Quinn. They try to get it up to Kevin Phillips. No. Then from the cross, frantic moment here. Still alive and kicking in the area. And then swept away finally, but then the shot right back in. Liam Walker puts it over. Final shot. West London, Stamford Bridge, Claudio Ranieri's Chelsea taking on Ipswich Town. A good day for the Italians. Started up nicely by Zola. Lampard fires in, but Matteo Sereni unable to keep it out of the nets. But offside would be the call. Chelsea right back to the drawing board. Thanks to Eider Gudjonsson. Zola Gola. Yeah, Gianfranco Zola's been in great form. He's starting to get more playing time. They want to play him out on the wing. It may not be the right idea, but he's scoring goals. He's scoring their horrible match against Hapoel Tel Aviv. He looked dangerous throughout, and he scores again here against Ipswich. The Piccola Gigante. And this would result in a penalty. Mark Mario Melchiat on the called for it. That would bring up Marcus Stewart. And 1-1 would be the result here at Chelsea on the verge of letting another one slip away. Yeah, minute 83, it looks like Chelsea at home would not get it done. Then the touch My Hasselbank, he couldn't bring it out. But look at Dalabona, would not be denied. Ah, ha ha, golissima. As they would say, and Dalabona, they said it was a good day for the Italians, Max. Nice about, left footed finish. What about Matteo Sereni? Isn't he Italian? Look what yeah. he had to deal with. Blues first league win in four games to Anfield, the big one of the week. Manchester United in town, and Michael Owen would be turned away this time, but not this time. Oh. Nothing Fabian Bartes could have done, nothing Peter Schmeichel would have been able to have done either with this tremendous ball by Owen. Long up and over and in, 1-0 Liverpool. This guy just does not miss a beat, comes back from injury, and the goals start pouring in. Hey, there's a new one, Fabian Bartes being scored on. Look at this one. <laughs> Power, baby. John Arnaris of the Norwegian rattling the crossbar and Bartes, and it's Liverpool up to a flying start here, 2-0. A little bit later, though, Manchester United would get the answer as Bex puts it through at the far post, cuts the lead in half in minute 50 with plenty of football still to play. This one blown by Arnorisa after he scores the goal. However, 
Never fear, because Michael Owen is here. His second of the day, and young Mr. Owen in his second half put this one away. Never fear, because Fabian Barthez is terrible these days. <laughs> hey, Gregory Coupe, Fabian Kuhn, you might get call-ups because Barthez is playing somewhere else. Liverpool's fourth straight win over United. We move forward, Highbury entertaining Charlton. You may think this one would be easy for Arsenal from oh. the looks of things, but good goalkeeping from Dean Kiley, keeping out Bergkamp and company. But Arsenal, they were attacking with ferocity here. First time ball through from Pires, Henri into the back of the nets here. Seven minutes after kickoff, and things looking good for the Gunners, right? Yes, at home, he figured a good sign of things to come. They've got all the pressure, but this is a London derby. And the boys from the Valley come to Highbury and get the equalizer. Steve Brown with his tremendous header as he puts it to the far post and beats Richard Wright. Richard Wright beaten again. This time he's been watching too many Fabian Barthez tapes. And yes, Arsenal relinquishing the lead here at halftime. It wasn't Jason Yule's credit. It was the folly of Richard Wright. What? And I don't know about this one here. That's an own goal. Not good goalkeeping, however. 2-1 to Charlton. What a goal coming up here, Chris. Klaus Jensen dispossesses Vieira and finishes in style. And Charlton up two goals, three unanswered. 3-1 the scoreline. Would you believe it? I would not believe it, man, but look at that strike. Jensen's first of the premiership, then things getting worse. You avoided before. Well, finally he comes through his third goal since making the move from Wimbledon, and things looking very ugly for Arsenal. 4-1. Well, they get a reprieve here as Thierry Henry is brought down in the box, and that would bring the Frenchman up from the spot. Goal number 15, but Arsenal, they are defeated by Charlton on their home ground for the first time since 1955. Is there a fortress left in the English Premier League? Highbury certainly not as we go to Ellen Road. Leeds United versus Tottenham. Leeds United still undefeated, but they've gotten a lot of draws, which has put a little luster on that performance. Gustavo Poyet wants to get the early strike, and he does! Lovely strike from the Uruguayan, who's just been outstanding this season. His fourth goal in five games. Hey, there's sick note with an assist there. The dummy run through there from Sheringham. Nice slot home from the Uruguayan. However, Leeds would have something to say about it here. Second half action. Ian Hot's going to get a hold of this one after Harry Kuhl does his thing. And he'll put it away with a plum. Mm, off the right foot. Not bad. And Ro Robbie Keane, you're not. I thought Keene's car wheels are bad, but Hart's are even worse. There's no form on that. <laughs> right off the woodwork and in, so Leeds surging, and Tottenham definitely on the back foot. Lovely touch from Kuehl. And Harry Kuehl, not a bad cricketer either. He's bowled him. Middle stump, Leeds United, 2-1 over Tottenham. More importantly, Leeds go top in the Prem. Next. We go to St. James's Park, Newcastle United versus Aston Villa. Aston Villa applies the pressure early on, but a pretty solid save by Shea Given, Ireland's number one. What a couple big weeks he's about to have. And then the Welshman, Craig Bellamy. And he's denied there. Peter Schmeichel putting it over the crossbar. And Schmeichel would be haunted all day by Bellamy. Nice slot through to Matt Elliott. Craig Douglas Bellamy. <laughs> yes, indeed. Minute 37, the Welshman. You called it, Max. This guy is really surging for this side since coming over from Coventry City. All you have to do is just give him the ball and he'll score. It's that simple. Yep, and people like fighting him. He just darts in between the center backs more from Bellamy. He starts things in motion across the horn through the Cape of Good Hope and sets sail for Africa. My goodness, Alan Shearer. His fourth goal in style. The old man still has it. Takes this assist from Rob Lee on the volley. Far post. Nothing Schmeichel could do about it. And things clicking on all cylinders right now for the pause. A little bit later, Craig Bellamy would get his second. And Aston Villa, who were leaders, <laughs> leaders no more. Humbled in Nuki. 3-0. Bolton 2-2 against Everton. Adiak and Bailly 